The Cable News Network is a multinational news-based pay television channel headquartered in Atlanta. It is owned by CNN Worldwide, a unit of the Warner Media News and Sports Division of AT&T's Warner Media. It was founded in 1980 by American media proprietor Ted Turner and Reese Schoenfeld as a 24-hour cable news channel. Upon its launch in 1980, CNN was the first television channel to provide 24-hour news coverage and was the first all-news television channel in the United States. As of September 2018, CNN has 90.1 million television households as subscribers in the United States. In 2019, CNN ranked third in viewership among cable news networks, behind Fox News and MSNBC, averaging 972,000 viewers. CNN ranks 14th among all basic cable networks. The network is known for its dramatic live coverage of breaking news, some of which has drawn criticism as overly sensationalistic, and for its efforts to be nonpartisan, which have led to accusations of false balance. Globally, CNN programming has aired through CNN International, seen by viewers in over 212 countries and territories. Since May 2019 however, the U.S. domestic version has absorbed international news coverage in order to streamline programming. Expenses the American version, sometimes referred to as CNN, is also available in Canada, some islands of the Caribbean and in Japan, where it was first broadcast on CNNJ in 2003. With simultaneous translation in Japanese, the cable news network was launched at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on June 1, 1980, after an introduction by Ted Turner. The husband and wife team of David Walker and Lois Hart anchored the channel's first newscast. Bert Reinhardt, the executive vice president of CNN at its launch, hired most of the channel's first 200 employees, including the network's first news anchor, Bernard Shaw. Since its debut, CNN has expanded its reach to a number of cable and satellite television providers, several websites, and specialized closed-circuit channels, and several regional and foreign language networks around the world. The channel's success made a bona fide mogul of founder Ted Turner and set the stage for conglomerate Time Warner's eventual acquisition of the Turner Broadcasting System in 1996. A companion channel, CNN2, was launched on January 1, 1982 and featured a continuous 24-hour cycle of 30-minute news broadcasts. The channel, which later became known as CNN Headline News and is now known as simply HLN, eventually focused on live news coverage supplemented by personality-based programs during the Evening and primetime hours, CNN Plus was a Spanish-language 24-hour television news channel that was launched in 1999 as a joint venture by So Guessable and Turner Broadcasting. It went off the air at the end of December 28, 2010. The management announced that CNN Plus would be closed on December 31, 2010. The Gulf War in 1990-1991 was a watershed event for CNN that catapulted the channel past the big three American networks in viewership for the first time in its history. Largely due to an unprecedented historical scoop, CNN was the only news outlet with the ability to communicate from inside Iraq during the initial hours of the coalition bombing campaign, with live reports from the Al Rashid Hotel in Baghdad by reporters Bernard Shaw, John Holliman and Peter Arnett. The moment when bombing began was announced on CNN by Shaw on January 16, 1991, as follows. This is Bernie Shaw. Something is happening outside. Peter Arnett, join me here. Let's describe to our viewers what we're seeing. The skies over Baghdad have been illuminated. We're seeing bright flashes going off all over the sky. Unable to immediately broadcast live pictures from Baghdad. CNN's coverage of the initial hours of the Gulf War had the dramatic feel of a radio broadcast and was compared to CBS News anchor Edward R. Murrow's live radio reports of the German bombing of London during World War II. Despite the lack of live pictures, CNN's coverage was carried by television stations and networks around the world, resulting in CNN being watched by over a billion viewers worldwide. The Gulf War coverage brought CNN some much sought after legitimacy and made household names of previously obscure reporters. Shaw, known for his live from Baghdad reporting during the Gulf War, 
became CNN's chief anchor until his retirement in 2001. Others include then-Pentagon correspondent Wolf Blitzer and international correspondent Christiane Amanpour. Amanpour's presence in Iraq was caricatured by actress Nora Dunn as ruthless reporter Adriana Cruz. In the 1999 film Three Kings, Time Warner-owned sister network HBO later produced a television movie, Live from Baghdad, about CNN's coverage of the first Gulf War. Coverage of the first Gulf War and other crises of the early 1990s led officials at the Pentagon to coin the term, the CNN effect, to describe the perceived impact of real-time 24-hour news coverage on the decision-making processes of the American GO.